It's viewed by many as the gateway to Tasmania. But to locals, the Mersey River represents the social divide between Devonport's east and west. There's a lot of homeless people um, and that's through no fault of their own. The parents, I would say, do the very best they can with what they've got. They're a proud people. Uh, we have quite a lot of people uh, in this area that, that have uh, need for food and find themselves in difficult circumstances. Emma Bonney has called East Devonport home for much of her life. <laughs> her eight children, aged between two and 17, have grown up here, just like she did. Don't worry about me. Okay, we're going to give some room to Mark. Things so. are tough, and the local child and family centre is her lifeline. That's my way into the community. If I didn't have them and the school, uh, yeah, I really wouldn't venture out of home very much. Yeah. Emma is one of around 5,000 Devonport residents who live on the eastern side of the Mersey River. Around 15,000 people make up the western side. <laughs> Unemployment sits around 12% in the east, compared to just over 9% on the other side of the river. The average weekly household income is $767, more than $100 less than the west. And just 5.5% of East Devonport's population have completed a bachelor degree or above, compared to 9.5% in the West. Work at this warehouse on the outskirts of the city begins early in the morning. We had a farmer come in just the other week with a big large, one of those blue, two blue, blue bins out there, of these beautiful collies from Sprint. Ready to eat meals, fresh produce and food hampers are made here and delivered right across the state every day. But in East Devonport, the charity finds there's a need for a constant supply. Uh, lack of employment and um, obviously housing costs and, and a range of, of those social issues uh, put downward pressure, I suppose, on, on people and subsequently they have to make the choice between whether they uh, pay for their heating or they do their eating. One of the first food deliveries of the day is to the Child and Family Centre. The facility managed by the Education Department provides support to more than 200 families. I say it's critical. It's, it's the one place families can go where there's no judgement, but they can get all the support they need. I called to the... How could it fly? Jenny Mountney has worked at the centre since it opened and says while there's still a disconnect between the east and the west, she believes the tide is changing. We have a whole demographic across the board in East Devonport. I would say it's changing. I think people are finding more pride in being um, living here. In the centre of Devonport, there's a flurry of development activity with a multi-million dollar living city project underway. But as you cross over the Mersey River and head into East Devonport, there's a stark difference. And some believe the benefits won't be felt on this side. For supermarket owner John Alexio, visitors on the Spirit of Tasmania ferries are key to the area's success. So we are the gateway to Tasmania. And at the moment, I think there's a lot of potential for a lot of improvements. There are some improvements in the pipeline. The council says $3 million will soon be spent on a facelift of the ferry terminal exit. People get off the spirits and, and immediately turn left to start their journey, and that's fine. But we want to make sure that we have um, enough encouragement for them to plan to be back here a day or so early. There's also plenty of work underway to address the social divide and boost employment opportunities in East Devonport. For these stay-at-home mothers, the Child and Family Centre realised it was about providing them with the right ingredients for success. They've just completed a 20-week TAFE course, making meals for the students at the local primary school. The parents involved in this have now moved to the point where each one of them have got a plan for their future, which they didn't have um, in February. It's just so amazing to be able to see you here and following your dreams.
Emma Bonney is one of a dozen mothers who graduated last month. Her children couldn't be prouder. Many of you are going on to test tape. Every day they ask me how school is. Yeah. It was a bit funny to start with because I haven't been to school for so long. <laughs> yeah, but it makes me feel good as a, as a mum to be still be able to accomplish something. And Keith told me I already passed last week, so that was good to take home. Great. Yeah, and lots of certificates have come out of it. I've got a folder full of certificates. Her goal is to work in a kitchen in aged care and show her children they can succeed no matter their postcode or the perceptions that come with it. People change and places change, yeah. And it's not where they live, it's the people they are.